Hello, my name is Jason, and I will be your tour guide on this journey through the updog process of creating and activating teams. So let's say this is your first time arriving here at Updog. You're on the website, updogchallenge.com. You go, hey, what do I do now? I heard this thing about teams. I'll go to info, and I'll click on teams. This way I can learn more about it. So now I arrive on the teams page. First, it says create a profile for free. Go to the team site, log in, and start adding dogs and humans on the competitors tab. All right, well, let's do that. So how do I go to this teams page? Uh, maybe I'll just click here. Oh, there we go. So now I am on the teams.updogchallenge.com page. Now, this is where your profile and stats will be kept. You'll notice that I'm already logged in up here at the top. If I wasn't, this is what I would see. If you haven't joined already, go ahead and click Join Updog. You'll go through a very simple process of using a, a social profile to log in to the site. And then once you're logged in, just like this, now you're going to come to your tabs. So you're going to see identities, profile, competitors, and teams. First thing you want to do, make sure your profile is filled out. Pretty simple. It's just a name and an email address. And then we're going to go to the competitors tab. Now you can see that I've already got a bunch listed here. Bryce, Business, Dragon, Jason, Kai. Okay, let's go ahead and add a new competitor. Now I can add human or canine competitors. In this case, I'm going to add a canine competitor, and it's going to be Mayhem. What kind of uh, competitor type is she? She is a canine. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. So now I get a few more um, fields to fill out. First, you can see that my new canine competitor, Mayhem, has her own uh, lookup number. There's her name, her lookup code. What is her height at Withers? And here's information about uh, what the Withers are, so you can make sure you get an accurate measurement. And then what is her jump height? And choose 16 inches and click save okay so now you'll see I'm back on my competitors tab and mayhem is now one of my competitors okay so let's say I've added myself and I've added mayhem uh, oh let's just look at one more thing real quick let's say I wanted to add myself again right so I click Jason and human and I click save it says, found existing competitors with similar names. So there I am. I'm already there. Let's go to back to the competitors tab. You can see I'm there and Mayhem's there. So I've got my two competitors. Now I can go ahead and create a team. Whoa, look at all these teams, right? But no Jason and Mayhem. So I'm going to click Create. Okay, there's a little bit of information here explaining what a team is. I'm going to click Create a New Team. Okay, now... This is a, uh, these are a selection of my uh, competitors that I've added to my competitors tab up here. And so I want to add myself to a team. Okay, so I've added uh, myself, but it says I need at least one canine competitor. So I need to click on add a competitor again. And now I'm going to add mayhem. So now I've added myself and mayhem. I can go ahead and move forward and give that team a name. Jason Riegler and Mayhem is fine with me. I could, of course, uh, make a custom name if I'd like. Troy Mool made some pretty cool custom names for his teams. And this is my new team number, which I'll use to register and will associate all of my stats with my team. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Okay. And now I'm ready to um, activate that team. So you'll see that uh, Jason Riegler and Mayhem, if I slide over to the right, are a guest team and I can apply a code if I like to make them a member team you can see that Jason and the Kai Bear there's an expiration date that means that we are a member team okay so how do I get my um, how do I get my activation code well here I am Jason Riggler and Mayhem I'm gonna click apply code And then here's where I can enter my activation code. Here's where I'll enter my, my address. Now you notice there's this link up here at the top that says team activation codes can be purchased at the Updog store. 
I'm going to go ahead and right click on that link, tell it to open in a new tab, just so you can get a look at it. So now we've arrived uh, in the store on the UpDogChallenge.com website, and this is where we can purchase our activation code. There's a little bit of instruction here, and then we can go ahead and add to cart. So maybe you want to buy three. Um, I've done that. I'm going to go ahead and click View Cart, which also shows up here. And there's my activation. I can go ahead and proceed to checkout. And what will happen is it will send me an email with an activation code. I'll take that activation code over back to the teams.updogchallenge.com page where my profile is. All right, so let me go back to, um, back to my profile, my teams page, Jason Riggler and Mayhem. So if you're wondering how to get back to this section, the profile section, just click on your name. Or when you log in, it automatically brings you there. But if for some reason you've navigated around through the tabs, you can go ahead and click uh, on your profile name. And that'll bring you back to this section and then click on Teams. So now I'm going to go down to Jason Riggler and Mayhem and click Apply Code. I'm going to go ahead and paste in my code. There's my activation code. I'll put in my address. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And now if I look at um, Jason Riggler and Mayhem right here, you can see there's an expiration date. Perfect, right? So that's all it takes. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, get in touch with us at help at updogchallenge.com.